asshole and Gretel. Man, every time there were there were moments in the movie where there, there were moments in the movie where somebody would say, "I thought they said asshole." <laughs> you must have been tired wow. or something. Yeah. Although Renner, as usual, was playing kind of a taciturn asshole. Yeah. Like, they, oh, don't be such a jerk, Hansel. Well, Fuck well, you. Well, they are German, right? So, yeah. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Man, they're, they're everything in this movie. They have people who have British accents, American yeah. accents, uh, uh, German accents. They don't give a shit. Oh, they're, doing, they're pulling that shit again where they just don't give a fuck. You know, they don't. It, the no. Gemma Arterton, Arteron, what did you say her name? Ar- 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 Alderton. 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 Wait, no, Alderton. 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 You, you're just, talking to me now. You know I'll fuck up a name in a minute. And, and don't even ask co-hosts because you know. <laughs> know. What's well, well, Cyrus? You tell me. <laughs> it looks like Arderton. Arderton. That's what I'm. That's fanatically. It's Arderton. Like, everybody loves that chick, but she does nothing but a thick British accent. No matter what she's and in. She Prince of a, Persia. British. She's <laughs> just got a no accent here, like American, but it's slips a lot <laughs> to the point where i was like kept having to go wait is she doing an accent and and hansel doesn't have one no, i was gonna say yeah not. is jeremy renner just not even gonna try yeah no. it's it's he, just he cost us through it is that, is that the, the, the whole problem with this is like felt like the only person who was trying was the person who originally came up with the idea and designed a lot of the stunts and the action the guy who wrote it on paper clearly yeah. was having fun designing it but Everybody else was like, "Oh, fuck it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's and that's pretty much it. Uh, Jeremy Renner and Arterton, yeah, uh, Arterton. Leave it, Gemma Arterton, yeah, yeah. is there. Yeah, they're, they're Hansel and Gretel. They they're all grown up. They hate witches and they kick ass. That's yeah. that's it. And they say fuck a lot. Ah, that's the R rating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's oh, like so there's it's... some boobs. There's lots of CG gore and like literally, it's embarrassing how many opportunities they say seg- they sandwich in fuck and fucking and motherfucker. And you're like, really? They didn't really do it. See, I, they didn't really <laughs> do it. All that much. It got to they never said motherfucker. Like, got to uh, early on. I think they said motherfucker. No, they never said motherfucker. Are you sure? I, I thought very they positive. Did. But, so, so basically, this isn't a Mickey Mouse Productions, right? <laughs> no, this ain't. No, 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 no. This is this is not. No, it's this for is grown-ups. Uh, it's, like, I mean, listen, would be I, I, I can good. tell you I, right <laughs> off the bat. I don't know what to tell you about this movie. It, mm. it, it's, have you, hey, co-host. Yeah. Hey, Leon. Yes. You seen Sinbad on TV? Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, wait. How, how, Sinbad the sailor or Sinbad the comedian? It, 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 fuck it. You've seen Sinbad. Hopefully about, it's the comedian. He's what? my favorite. No, okay, not the comedian. No, how about, how about, uh, what's that chick's name? Cinderella? Xena? Xena. Xena? You yeah. seen Xena? You seen Hercules? Yes. Yeah. You seen all those. The action yeah. pack hour, yeah. Now imagine they, 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 they somebody gave them a couple of extra hundred bucks or something, you uh-huh. know, go, <laughs> his, and then they said, you know what, go crazy. Just make it as gory and bloody and show some titties every now and then. And, wow. Hey, you know what? You could throw a fuck in there. It is, that's what it is. But it's not a, even, that sounds like a, like a co host birthday party. I was about to say, like, you, you, you keep throwing this word at me, titties. So I got titties all over my face well, there's now. There's one and, sack. Yeah, one. And oh. you barely kind of see it. Wait, 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 wait. You guys just, you said titties here everywhere. Yeah. Now no, you're no. saying suddenly it's one it's sack. It's lots you of cleavage. See. Lots of cleavage. Oh, well, you can see that's that at not a, the at a same thing as titties. There's just enough titties to let you know this is rated R. <laughs> this Jesus. is for grown-ups. And that's what this movie wants to do. This movie mm-hmm. is a little kid that's finally been able to watch rated R stuff. Yep. That's uh, because that's what the movie's relishing in. But a that's, really it, dumb little kid. Yeah. It's, 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 it's <laughs> wait, wait. Now you're starting to talk my language. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that little boy, the, you know, uh, this movie is the, the equivalent of that little boy who just walked in the room. And daddy finally didn't chase you out. Daddy, uh, what were you uh, doing it now? Daddy said, you know what? Come on on here, but look at some of your titties right here. You man now. You, so, but, so, so it sounds like to me like you're saying it's kind of like a Todd McFarlane wet dream. No, I wouldn't even say that much. It, it's got elements of that Spawn Dark Ages type crap in it, really, you know, where it's like lots of crossbows that go whoosh and they can fire multiple directions at once and, you know, Gatlin guns with darts and shit. So like Van that, Helsing, you know? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Sounds like Van that's Helsing ex- to me. That's exactly that's it. That's exactly They want yeah. to go out and they want to be uh, more of a... More of a fun, but darker, mm-hmm. and more frat boyish kind of Van Helsing, and mm-hmm. in, in in certain parts of it, it's okay. It, it, I mean, it's not never to me. I don't know about you, Cyrus. Never to me was it was it bad. It's just it's a movie, like I said, that's just relishing so much in that. It's a, the gimmick here. Oh. Take a take a fairy tale, and we just made it adult. We put gore and, and blood and cursing in there, and it doesn't seem to 
really progress beyond that. There's no real story progression. There's no real build up to any kind of big climax. There's no real character in here to root for. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm you you're kind of bumming me out right now because I just found out tonight that this is actually directed by the guy who did Dead Snow, right? Which, which I is a movie which I love. Quite yeah, a bit, I really thought but it was maybe great. it makes all the difference when it's in English or something. I don't know, but because mm-hmm. this didn't Tommy really work. Cola. Yeah. And the thing is, like, part of the biggest problem here is that the dialogue is just flat. It's not very interesting. The plot, everything is telegraphed way ahead of time. So, and they act like, oh, wait till you see what's coming next. <laughs> yeah, I knew like an hour ago what was coming next. <laughs> it's not very surprising. You don't give a shit. There's no chemistry between the two leads. Like, no. they not only don't seem like brother and sister, they seem like they can't stand each other most of the time. Damn. I mean, like, that's not how it's supposed to be. Yeah. So, Did you? Cause I, I, didn't, I didn't see that. I got where like Jeremy Renner never even looks her in the eyes most of the time. You're just like Jesus Christ. I, I didn't. I didn't get that. I thought that they were trying to. Because there's a point where I mean, you talk about they they hardly act like they're brother and sister. There was a point I thought Jeremy Renner was gonna fuck Greta. Well, that's cause, just because he's Jeremy Renner. Well, well yeah, but there's, a, there's a point where uh, she's got a couple of bruises on her face and. And Jeremy Renner's like, who who did this to you? He's grabbing a bob face. Who did this to you? Who did it? Let me know. And I was like, grabbing, shit. grabbing onto her breast. Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who, who, who did this to you? I mean, who did this to you? Stop but, doing that every time. Yeah. I, it, no, 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 no. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, that's the thing. If there's no chemistry in it, it's, I think that there's a point where they try to put something in there to show you, to show you how strong a bond that this brother and sister have, but it's really nothing there because J- I get the feeling that Jeremy Renner's just walking through this, and the whole time he has a look on his face like, I don't give a fuck. Give me my fucking <laughs> chest. Oh, they yeah. came down to the fact that they were like, look, we got this kid, and people like him, but if you don't stick an arrow in his hand, his, his movies don't make any money. Yeah. <laughs> He's unrecognizable <laughs> without that bow and arrow. <laughs> yeah, he looked like he walked onto the set, all of a sudden realized, oh, fuck, that's right, I got Academy Award nomination. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, oh, I, I won, too. Oh, shit. So why is this guy... Fuck? Yeah, what am I doing here? Why does he keep walking through goddamn Born Legacy and then walking through this? Because, I mean, I, I don't know what it is about this guy, because I'm still trying to find out, especially after seeing that last Born Supremacy, like, okay, now what is the appeal besides him just playing a comic book character the now. The thing is, he's more of a character, a serious character actor, but now that he's got, you know, his, his star has some light to it, he's got an agent going like, you need to do this, you need this high-profile project. Yeah, I know it's superheroes, but just do it anyway. Action movie. We're just going to plug you in everything. Uh, what's, what's Captain Heigl doing? we got to put you in a romantic comedy. Yeah. But even great actors like to fucking just go and like cut loose and play action heroes. It don't mean, sound like he liked doing it this time. Yeah, but that's the thing is, every time you see him in these roles, with the exception of Hawkeye, he looks like he's just collecting a check. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like yeah. he does not want to be. We there. know he can act. Well, I can't. Yeah. I can't Where blame. I can't blame because honestly, this premise seemed like it's just it's just one of those ideas to me at least that should be handled so much better. I mean, I don't know how many how many times like I've seen these old stories, you know, where they they put this modern spin, they just make an all out action movie where it's like, hey, how about we get Hans and Gretel and make a Blade movie, huh? And then I'm like, how do you fuck that up? Well, I tell you why, because this movie. Instead of really having fun with it, mm-hmm. the movie wants to be cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. I, the, the, I keep comparing this movie to a person. You know <laughs> yeah. But this this movie mm-hmm. walks into the school, mm-hmm. you know, got got his leather jacket on, yeah. doing a lot of posturing, doing a lot of posing. Every now and then somebody say, hey, Hustle Greta, what's up? Hey, man, how you doing? You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> instead of just being like, hey, man, yeah. it's okay to lighten up. The, the yeah. movie, pro- if, if it's going to go out, it's going to put in all this blood. All this gore, all this cursing in there, and because and, 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 the movie looks like it's trying to have fun, it just never gets to that point where it's letting loose. Mm-hmm. The, the moment Hansel and Greta come on, they do the they, they're anime posing. They're throwing their big guns behind their shoulders. Uh, yeah. and, I mean, they actually came on and posed when they said their names. <laughs> they came in, they said, "I'm." Hansa. <laughs> and I'm Gretel. Did, 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 did they have that big ching? Yeah, yes. that was the only thing they missing was yeah. the, the only thing that was missing was the sound of ching and that little sunlight, that spotlight yeah. or that lens flare that yeah, was that in there. Flare, yeah. They yeah. even have the goofy sidekick to like be the audience going, Wow, that's fucking cool. Like oh, just like that. Like the little boy in the town's like, I'm a big fan. You guys are so awesome. Like at one point literally pull out a big gun and he goes, Fuck! That's cool. <laughs> You're like, really? I don't want to make it sound like they're really just trying to be uh, tr- trying to be in your face with their maturity. Mm-hmm. I, like I was saying, I, I, ca- I can count the number of times they said "fuck" in the movie. It's probably about five, mm-hmm. but there's a lot of gore in there, and the nudity is very light. It's they're lame just, it, gore for the record. Yeah. Yeah. But is it fun? I mean, but th- there are certain points where it is fun. I mean, 
there's a because another reason why this movie should have just gone way over the top is because if if you don't have Jeremy Jeremy Renner there underacting, you got everybody else coming on and overacting. Yeah. Peter Stormare just comes in. I I mean, you thought he had an accent before. He's I mean, he is going off. <laughs> Yes, with the guy. That's like, oh, God damn, when he doing, turned. Damn. He's been doing that a lot lately. Yeah, yeah when, when he turned retarded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when he turned to Forrest Whitaker. Did you notice that? Yeah. Yeah. He was well, overacting? He's, he's always that way. He's Peter Stormer. He always does that shit. And, and I, he's probably the only one who made the right decision. Everybody else played it. Like, the two lead characters are playing it so flat. And then he's like, Rah! and as well as Famke Jansen, who plays the lead. The evil lead witch. witch who's yeah. like going way over the top, as it should be, right? Yeah. Ex- and if only. Only she was as interesting as... I mean, Peter Stormare is a much more interesting villain, right? You're like, man, I really hate this guy in the way I'm supposed to. Fabka Jansen, you're just like... Whatever. She's like fifty witches in this fucking thing. She's just another witch. <laughs> yeah. You know? Who gives a shit? I mean, because the because the costumes are cool. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 I thought the costumes were cool. I thought the, the uh, are, are they? Because what I saw from the from the trailer, them them in there, keep in all mind. leather. I'm like. Really, guys? It's, that's part of that's part of the from the Hellraiser of collection. Yeah, because see the movie. You know, I mean, in addition to to trying to update it, look, listen, the movies. They tell you at the beginning, Paramount Pictures. Then you said an astronaut come out with that MTV movies right now. Oh, <laughs> so, wow! Well, shit, Negro, that's all you had to no, say. Right? So yeah, this is this is definitely a television show that yeah. they just boosted up to be on the screen because I mean they. They're not trying to. Do, they're not trying to add any authenticity to storytelling. It's, mm-hmm. it's all visual. I mean, the village looks cool. The costumes are all leathery and look cool because they're trying to be trendy and cool for the for the for the young kids out there. Mm-hmm. And the dialogue is bad. The dialogue it's is really it, bad. Yeah, they they they're not trying to be old school with that dialogue at all. There's there's somebody who comes in and says that was awesome, and then Hansel <laughs> tells one guy, hey. Stay cool. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, this is definitely an MTV production. This right is here. depressing. Yeah, the, biggest, yeah. The, the moment you said that he says stay cool, I'm like, wow. I think I just give it some old bullshit on general. <laughs> I know. Well, the biggest shame of this film is that, like, like I was saying earlier, some of the uh, almost all the action. When you look at how what's actually happening, you're like, wow, this was actually really well choreographed and uh-huh. planned out. But somewhere between the director and the editor. All that shit looks like shit on screen. Yeah. It's like, wow, you took all the, you managed to take all the oomph out of what should have been really cool action sequences. There's lots of neat ideas conceptually, but nothing seems to, on the whole, really play out the way you feel that, that it should have yeah. on the yeah. screen. Did, did, it's very underwhelming to see. Did they yeah. actually play out the original story in the beginning of yes. Hansel and Gretel? I mean, did they play it all which the way course, through? Or was, a, it, was it like a series of flashbacks? Which, of course, is, which is actually one of the more gruesome sequences in it, in a way, because, you know, fucking burn somebody alive mm-hmm. so oh yeah kind of yeah. nasty but yeah. uh yeah there's a whole mystery like oh and hansel and gretel are, appear to be immune to magic why is that yeah. or can you just figure out the entire plot from that right there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't know what was going on with that but at the same time i didn't care <laughs> you know it was like i, I never had a I, I never want to sit back and say oh shit what that <laughs> that, that spell didn't work <laughs> what's the mystery behind hansel and gretel i was like uh, you know because well, it, it, it was almost like when i find out is it really gonna make a fucking yeah. difference? right if is it, it gonna make the movie any better no <laughs> they keep going like huh at the screen you know you're like all right we okay, got it yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be a third act <laughs> yeah. reveal but the, the, fine, the other thing whatever. is is that you know the, the kids these days they, they love the steampunks you know they, sure. they, they so that's they have a heavy dose of steampunk in this movie the weapons are steampunk <laughs> some of the they, they actually have a device <laughs> that they, they even have steam back in the days <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they even have wait hold on they, they have invented- uh, what do you call those things where you put it on people's hearts and you like clear the, the, the paddles yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Got, yeah. They, got steam, they got a steampunk <laughs> well, paddle gun technically that kind of uses a, 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 well what got me is got a squirrel that, running to yeah, make it yeah, work Amsterdam <laughs> shit. but what really got me is that they have steampunk diabetes in this. Yeah. <laughs> not even kidding you. Well, well, okay, like, what is that? Check out this. Like early on when they're kids, you remember the classic story? They're being force-fed sugar right, by the right. witch. Right, make them fat well, yeah, so par- the witch can make some frog par- from Apparently because Hansel was force-fed so much witch candy, he got witch diabetes. Oh, you can't be serious. Is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you do, don't eat the candy.
Yes. And now he's got a steampunk watch that tells him whenever it's time to inject <laughs> himself with that. magic diabetes <laughs> insulin <laughs> to fix himself. Oh. Of course, at like the exact <laughs> moment when it would be worse in the film for it to just go off, which, oh. it, which means he immediately loses all sense of control. And the best part of it is that... Wilfred Brimley comes out and says, time to take care of your diabetes. <laughs> Seriously. They're going to hurt witches. Make sure you take care of your diabetes. It's not your oatmeal. It's the right thing to goddamn do. I thought there's a point that That's how I got even, in trouble the first time. There's a point they're not even trying to show, like, look, this is, like, old stuff mixed with, like, modern weaponry. There's a point where you're just like, fuck it, it's just modern weaponry. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, they got, like, a giant Gatling yeah, gun. Yeah, when I saw the Gatling gun, I was like, give me a fucking break. I, I thought for sure he was going to, at one point, pull out his steampunk cell phone and call <laughs> I thought that's what was happening. Yeah, they got steampunk <laughs> albums and everything. Seriously. Seriously. And they, steampunk old, Tech 9. And, and, yeah. And, the, yeah, yeah. and the funny part is, is like, you, you see him too because he's fighting witches and he just has to stop and say, oh, Oh boy, Hansa gotta take his sugar right now. <laughs> got, my, got my sugar. You know how black people say, yeah. my, my guy takes gotta take shots for my sugar. <laughs> Hansa, he pulls so, you don't wanna lose your foot. <laughs> no. but, and that fool, yeah, that, now keep in mind, that fool got diabetes, but teeth just as nice as can be. Oh, oh, of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. I just wanna see a scene where he plans to pull his pants all the way down so his ass is exposed. Yeah. Yeah. All his fighting vampires, like, hold on, sister. He got diabetes, but he ain't got cavities. I don't, right. I don't know, maybe that's, a, maybe that's part of being fucking, you know, having that witch spell or some shit. Yeah. I don't I don't know, you, but uh, you got the you got the nice teeth spell, but, but it's, it's listen, all that steam. That, like I said, you just you don't care mm. about anything, and this no. is just that. It sounds like you don't. No, you really don't. You don't waste care. the time to really, care. You don't You're only hurting yourself by caring. Yeah. The moment you sit up here, I mean. Listen, if you give a shit after seeing him take a, a medieval diabetes shot, <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> then go ahead. You buy right into this bullshit, but I, I didn't. That's not to say that it's not fun in some parts. I, what I mean by you don't care. I don't care about any of the characters. The the it's it, it's they they're describing this as uh, an action horror movie, but there's no real horror in there. Mm -hmm. If I had to say anything was was bad about the production, I thought the makeup was just silly. Just, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a whole part where witches come in from everywhere, and they all all that makeup. I mean, it literally looks like somebody just balled up some latex and just threw it on somebody. <laughs> really? So it's actually that. latex because everything I've seen looks completely CG. They use that makeup cannon from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it looks like the, like the witches. They just there's some of them look all right, but a lot yeah. of them look like it. They just, Maybe they ran out of makeup. It looks uh, like paper mache, man. Yeah. They ran out, ran out of budget and they just start hiring some ugly people. <laughs> no, yeah, it just isn't very innovative, really. In in I think most ways in sense of design like that. It's like there's you were saying like the costumes. I'm like. It's like, yep, more of those generic leather Look trench like coat stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, it's nothing really new. There's nothing we haven't seen here before, really. Mm. Uh, you know, well, that's the biggest problem. It's part of the reason you don't care, because it's like, if you're going to do this kind of film, well, you got to impress me somehow. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing there. I mean, the one thing I'll say is, like, the one good witch character in here is hot. Yeah, redhead. Okay. Yeah. Horny as hell. Yeah, uh, that's about it. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> who plays a good witch? I don't know. Who was it? Do you got that information in uh, hand? No, sorry. I, I, didn't, rec I didn't recognize her. <laughs> I think her. you had a tattoo that on your hot arm. red, <laughs> hot bitch. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. She's a... Uh... Wait, don't tell me. It's Jessica Chastain, because she's yeah. in everything. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Joanna Kulig, maybe? Sure. I'm not sure. I really wasn't paying attention. I never saw it for her. We'll give it to her. We'll write her down in IMDb. I was too busy looking at the exit sign. Yeah, Joanna Kulig is a name. She's fine. Yeah, no, she's fine as hell. I... Uh, I, there's some scenes in there that are fun. I mean, there's a, there's a, <laughs> I mean, boy, they, I, I, I dare say that there's a connection between trying to reach some of these tweens out there. They have a, they have a, a, a troll named Edward in this yeah. movie. Jesus. And it, the troll looks like a cross between the Hulk and a homeless man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, it looked like a homeless man hulked out and didn't turn green. I actually get real big. He just kind of mm -hmm. stopped halfway through, <laughs> and, you know, yeah. clothes and green back, layout, come all the way off. And, and, uh, that character, when they make his introduction, he has one of the most uh, one of the more gory scenes in the movie, and it's and it, it is pretty fun. I yeah, I mean, it's not worth the price of admission, but it's it's fun to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, but the people that you really come to see kick ass, I mean, if you gonna if you gonna put this movie out there as a kick ass movie, then we need to see your main characters kick ass, kick ass, and <laughs> not just get their ass kicked. Yeah, constantly. they yeah. they get their asses they they mop the floor up with these motherfuckers in the movie. But I don't. I I don't hate the movie. I just for don't, real? No, no, I, no, I don't. I mean, like, I it's, it's not hateful. It's just no. kind of boring. You know, you're yeah. like, 
uh, you feel like when you read one of those like uh, Alice in Wonderland made adult comic books that are popular now, you know, those type of things. Here's a fairy tale, except all the chicks have got lots of cleavage and yeah. there's lots oh, of gore. Yeah. Yeah. It's like those. You're like, yeah. you'll read them. You'll go like, ah, eh, it's all right. But yeah. I wouldn't, when I wouldn't when it's only worth them. When it's only worth looking at the cover. Yeah, yeah, leave these fairy tales alone. Keep them pure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, the... The same thing that MTV is doing with Teen Wolf. The same thing I tell you about these other movies. This is that TV show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just has, like I said, to get it, to get it into theaters. They just want to use the word "fuck" every now and then and throw some blood in there. Mm-hmm. And it's, I don't think it's worth going to the theater to see. I didn't hate it enough. I I, I didn't hate it. I like some parts of it. It just it goes so quick though that yeah. there's there is no substance to this at all. Not that not that not that you need to find it. I just. I, I don't think that the entertainment side of it is there like it should be here. It's not. It's not as funny as it could yeah. be. Wow. It's not as kick ass as it could be. It just feels like a TV production that actually got lucky enough to have somebody come in and give them a couple of extra million dollars. So I, yeah, so it's a it's a rental for me. And that girl Gemma Arterton, the reason why they got her in the movie because I swear. Uh, she looks like Rumi. Uh, and Numi Rumi Rapace. Rapace? Yeah, who was originally yeah. cast in the role. Yeah, she was going to play that role, but oh. uh, yeah, they got this chick. <laughs> we obviously, yeah, yeah. We, we know who made the wiser decision. And you're right, Corey. It feels like they like took this film that was underdeveloped to begin with, and somebody said, well, we might as well try and make some money off of it because we're not going to throw this direct to DVD, so let's give them another six million or something and just cover the whole thing with a fine glaze of CG. Yeah. And try it. <laughs> yeah, and blood and try and like etch out the parts that look bad looks at all the main witch makeup is all just cg like it's just with later when there's tons of them they it was easier to just give them practical makeup and keep them kind of in the shadows <laughs> yeah you know yeah but, and this whole movie should have been in the shadows yeah, cause, well too much of it was. <laughs> uh, but yeah it's just it's so utterly forgettable i won't even remember this came out this year probably by the end of the year uh this is just i'd give it a low rental i uh, it's it's worth a rental if it sounds like your type of thing. But other than that, you should probably And so skip seeing it, it IMAX 3D didn't help. Oh, the, oh, the, the 3D, 3D was, was awful. You thought so? I thought oh, 3D was kind of cool. I hated the 3D. Did you? Yeah. I Because I, I, I saw it at, at the IMAX. I liked it. Mm-hmm. I thought the 3D, the, I mean, it doesn't, Sustained through the whole film, mm-hmm. but there. I mean, I, maybe I'm just a coward. You know me, because I, I was the one when we saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I was the one that fucking screamed and ducked when he threw that chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> I, I ran out of the theater. He was, he was ducking behind me. I'm like, dude, it's a movie. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is, I mean, listen, Hansel, Jeremy Renner, he's trying. Yeah. He's trying because it's a. Cult. I mean, also there's a good dose of kung fu in here too. Of yeah, course. Oh, well, yes. I mean, yeah. they're putting everything yeah. in there that the kids well, like. Uh, and and the Hansel, he's. I mean, he's hanging in there for a little bit. But Greta hardly does shit. <laughs> I mean, she well, just sits back and gets ass captured. And- That's because she's a girl. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say nothing, but I'm like... Come on, man. I mean, hey, she, that, that's how it was back then. They didn't know how to fight. They were stupid. She spends half the movie tied up, beat up, uh, tore up. I mean, <laughs> and she and and and, uh, and she doesn't do a whole lot in the movie. She gets a kick in every now and then, but yeah, whatever. And it's, you know what? Hansel gets to hook up with this totally hot redhead. And what does she get? She gets to uh, a best friend troll with a yeah. little nerdy <laughs> kid following her. Around. Like, well, who didn't like Jimmy wow. Arterton? I, I guess yeah. I guess she didn't fuck the director. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that director's that troll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way I'm gonna find some ass if I don't do this. <laughs>